terms of a, a motion. I will address that with you and get your advice as to the uh, confidential nature of such an opinion and where we can go from here. I mean, again, this, the bottom line is where are we as a board in terms of our rights and obligations with Caltrans on this tunnel issue? That, that was the only point of this, and I will, I will remain silent now. Thank you, Mayor. I was just give me a little bit broaden the conversation a bit, guys. Beyond the legal, the narrow legal issues, what are the practical uh, issues which describe our relationships, as opposed to the narrow legal issues? So, uh, if you don't mind, I'll, if you like, I'll join that conversation with you. Yes, I, I would like to do that, and we can maybe sort out. If you like, I join it too. We can sort out the the details before we bring it to the board and just have an ongoing discussion. Director Kasana. Yes, uh, Madam Chair, actually, I, I want to agree with uh, Director Nigerian and something he raised. Uh, actually, it's not about the 710, but at the, uh, I believe it was the last operations committee meeting, I had requested a legislative matrix back to the board, too, which uh, I don't believe we received. So I think there are some issues on follow up when uh, items are brought forward in committees. I think it's important for us to have a comprehensive view on legislation. Not so for public inspection. The report they were mandated by this board to produce, it seems consistent with the pattern of avoidance, or to be nice and use Director Fasana's words, lack of follow through, that we believe is detrimental to the robust and transparent process. In February, staff submitted the alternatives analysis report good, as a receive and file rather than an action item, and therefore, thank you come here. Thank you. Trish Gossett to be followed by. Thank you. I, yeah, I support the position of Dr. Wilson. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Tom Williams. Dr. Tom Williams, LA 32 Neighborhood Council, and thank all the poor people from LA on the board that are going to have to suffer with 710. Uh, 710, Memorandum of Understanding. Why isn't the California Transportation Commission included in this and make sure that they concur with the Memorandum of Understanding if it is ever formalized. The Memorandum of Understanding should also include errors and omissions. Who's responsible for those? Because we see a lot of them. Uh, overruns. For the Big Bertha up in Seattle, the cost overruns were going to be the responsibility of the local government, that is the city of Seattle. They were really upset over that part of their memorandum. So I hope it doesn't come back to LA City or Alhambra or Pasadena. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Fasano, I'll speak. At this point, I just appreciate the opportunity to see, uh, to get the report back.